Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I wanted to show you something that I'm doing right now to get ready for uh, when the weather starts getting better. We're still kind of in winter. Fishing's not really that good. I mean, I guess river fishing and steelhead and stuff like that is decent. The river's all right, but man, screw the river, bro. I'm freaking so ready to get on this boat and get moving on the water again and go catch some damn bass. And I'm getting excited. We've had a really killer winter. Uh, I really think that a lot of the lakes around here are gonna fill up. Well, we ain't putting it in that boat ramp. I'm really excited for Clear Lake that's coming up in a couple months, the annual Clear Lake trip. And I got my own boat and Clear Lake is filling up with water. Super excited for that. But leading up to all that, I have a problem and I had an issue that I was having uh, last season when I got the boat. And right now, I've, what's been rattling around in my mind is I've been thinking about uh, organization on the boat. And that's been a big thing for me. Uh, I don't like the boat being messy. I don't, I really hate being unorganized in this boat. Well, recently I bought a 3D printer and now I've been thinking I'm gonna start having 3D printed like organizers for the boat and 3D printing brackets and parts and, and uh, just all kinds of different mechanisms and little organizers that I can use around the boat because organization to me is uh, a big key for this. And I don't wanna be going into the next season with being uh, or unorganized. So first things first is I have this little tiny box right here. And that's probably the worst out of all of them. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. So the inside of this first box right here is uh, it's pretty much where I've been keeping all my soft plastics. I mean, there's bags of lures in here, Sankos, Kitex, just a whole bunch of shit. And this is where I basically keep all the soft plastics at. And I've just been throwing it in here and I haven't really organized it. So moving on to the next thing that I wanna get organized would be these like rod lockers. I'm not too worried that much about the one on the driver's side. But this one right here is something that I would like to get some organization in to put, you know, big swim baits, lures. I want to have a type of bracket to where I can hang all my hooks and lures right here on the inside wall of this storage, this rod locker. It's not very practical for uh, putting fishing rods in. It's, it's not long enough on my boat to uh, be stuffing rods in there and easily getting access to pulling them out. It would kind of be like a pain in the ass. What I want to do is basically turn this into another bait storage and have lots of big lures in there and just, you know, the fundamentals of things that I usually grab when, when I'm fishing. I basically have this big front center box and it's just, uh, it's another mess too. It's full of crap and nothing's organized and it's, it's going to drive me crazy and it's just going to be unacceptable for this next season. It's kind of just becoming like a multi-purpose box. I mean, I do like having my tackle boxes in here organized in these little slats but it's slowly becoming another box for different things like lines and little you know there's a dark sleeper in there and i got these big swim baits big swim baits and crank baits and top waters kind of hanging on that i want to be able to take those out of there and put them in here that way this can just stay as like a tackle box organizer in the front center deck another thing that i might do too in this video is possibly print some type of organizer to go inside the glove box of the boat because that is another really messy thing. I, it's so easy to get that messy and unorganized. So uh, I might print like some type of desk organizer or maybe uh, some type of stackable boxes, kind of like a little toolbox that you would keep your bits in or something. But yeah, so we'll let the printer do its thing, print out the pieces, and then I will install them in the boat and we can kind of see how a before and after and, and uh, go from there. Now we just wait, wait for the printer to do its work. Trees 
28 hours later. It's still not done. I love a good challenge though. It's fun. Just uh, letting you guys know where we're at with it. So yeah, I'm gonna do change some things around, but then we'll get back to making the rest of these and then get back to finishing this damn video. I didn't think this would turn into like a five day freaking process. Wow. Okay, so this is the third take on this video. I keep forgetting to hit record. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> everything is done being 3D printed. I have 3D printed everything for the boat. Uh, some things were done a while ago, and then the last few things that I did, uh, it took it took some time. Either way, this whole process was lengthy, guys. It took it took a long time to uh, get get this all done. Wrapping all that up, let's put all. I'm gonna put all the 3D printed stuff together, and then show you guys what it looks like. Okay, that's wrapping all the 3D stuff. Um, it took a long time, more time than I anticipated to uh, get it done. Uh, the boat's organized now, and the next thing is to uh, go get the boat detailed, clean some reels, clean some uh, the rods, reline. Uh, we're getting pretty close. So tune in soon for some spring fishing. I cannot wait any longer. I don't care if it's freezing cold. I don't care. I'm gonna go somewhere. I'll probably have to drive a little far because a lot of the close lakes are frozen and uh, the lakes that aren't frozen are really low still, but we're getting a lot more rain and a lot of that snow's gonna melt. So I'm excited for that, but it's time to move on to the next video. So I'm gonna start working on that and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. Yeah,